Welcome to the Market Basket Everyday Greeting Card Continuity Service Overview. Market Basket Service Visit tasks may include straightening the card display, merchandising an order, placing an order, transitioning a seasonal display, writing a seasonal credit, or writing an everyday credit. This video will show you how to do most of these tasks. When you arrive at the store, go to the customer service desk to sign in as a vendor. At the receiving department, back of the store, locate the most recent order shipped. Note, UPS and FedEx shipment tracking will be provided to you. Know before you go if you are expecting an order. Reorders should always be held in the same location at the store. Ask the receiver where they will keep your orders until you arrive. If you don't find your order, check tracking and work with the receiver to find it. In the event you don't find your order, reach out to customer service at Sellers Publishing. One example of a market basket layout is as follows. Here is another example of a market basket layout. You will find a storage unit located under one of the racks. Here you will keep any supplies, damaged or discontinued cards, the service logbook and cross-reference sheets. Straighten the greeting card rack at every service visit. Here are some examples of what you may find that needs straightening. Card placed in an envelope, envelope facing the wrong way, and an upside down card. In addition, look for misplaced or stray cards. If necessary, use the cross-reference guide in the storage drawer to find the correct pocket and rack location. Your rack should look neat after it is straightened. Service visit frequency. Stores that are serviced two times a week will typically have the first visit with the task of placing an order and then the second visit with the task of merchandising that order. Merchandising an order. Each rack on the fixture is assigned a letter identifier location. Everyday card pocket numbers are on the greeting card fixture. Each rack's letter and number correlate to a pocket location. For example, pocket one on rack B is identified as B1, rack A as A1, etc. Each packet of cards that ships in a reorder is packed with an inventory control ticket in front of it. Keep tickets and packet of cards together. This ticket should be inserted into the caption cards die cut slots and then placed in the pocket. The inventory control ticket shows you where to place the packet of cards on the corresponding rack, as well as the item number for the assigned card. See the example. Every packet of cards will ship in with a new caption card. When placing the new greeting cards on the rack, remove the old caption cards and place the new caption cards behind the packet of cards. Discard the old caption cards. Note the examples. Greeting card designs assigned to a pocket may change from time to time. When you're putting out a reorder, if the new design is different than the one in the pocket, you have two options. Option A, place the old card in front of the new cards, then place all envelopes together. Option B, remove the old card and put in storage until you write a credit at a later date when you have approximately 40 to 50 cards to credit. Always merchandise a card order first, if there is one.
before placing a new order. Placing a new everyday card reorder. If your visit includes placing a new card order, pull each card's inventory control ticket when a pocket has three cards or less. Exception, pull the ticket at two cards or less for all high note designs. These cards, ship in fours, are much thicker and are usually in a plastic sleeve. Beginning at one end of the greeting card department, touch each pocket to ensure you are thorough for all cards that need reordering. As you go, place your hand on each caption card to ensure there are no cards behind it from above pockets. This most often happens on traditional displays where customers put cards back on the display that fall behind the caption card in front of the pocket. When you are ready to place your reorder, gather all of your inventory control tickets. Provide the below information, ship ID or account number, store name, and then pockets to order. To the right is an example of a reorder email. After you have sent your order to Sellers Publishing for processing, discard the reorder inventory control tickets. Note, a confirmation of receipt will be sent to you. Finishing your visit. Locate the service logbook under the fixture and fill in the information for today's visit, such as visit date, time in and out, merchandise greeting card order number, pulled greeting card order number of tickets, merchandise seasonal order on fixture, seasonal card transition, and any additional comments. Remove all trash and take it to receiving to discard. Sign out as a vendor at the customer service desk. This concludes our video. Thank you for servicing Market Basket.